Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're an oldie, welcome back guys. So I'm sorry, but I forgot to do my intro and the outro. So I will include some pictures in the beginning and the end. But what I'm doing here is just getting ready to go out to eat for dinner for my sister's birthday. So I was kind of like rushing. So part of that was the reason why I did not do an intro and outro. But here I'm just doing my skin prep before I started to do my makeup. And I just showed you guys some of the products that I've used. And I wanted to include some of these um, steps in this video because a lot of times I just say I prep my skin off camera, but I can't recall the number of times that I've actually shown what I used. So I just wanted to do that here. And I'm going in this time, try something different. I went in with the e.l.f. blush and I tried to apply that onto my face prior to um, my foundation base. I don't know what made me do that. I think I may have seen somebody on TikTok do that, but I wanted to do that in this look. And then I'm just going in with some concealer to correct certain areas that are a little bit darker or some areas that don't cover as well with certain foundation or the foundation that I'm using. So I'm just going there and just doing a little bit of color correction in those um, loved areas, I'm going to say. And then I'm going to go in here and just clean up my brows with some concealer. Next, I'm going in with my Real Technique Concealer Brush, and I'm just blending the concealer out towards the um, center of the lid of my eye. And then I'm also, I don't know why recently, these last couple of tutorials I've been doing that I've actually cleaned the top of my brow. I haven't done that in a while, but I guess really I'm just trying to try different things to just see what works or gives me the look that I you know, won't. So I've been doing it these last couple looks. So I'm just going in and just cleaning out the top of my brow. And then once I finish that, I'm going to also buff that out with another concealer brush. Well, not another, but with the Real Technique um, concealer brush. And I'm just going to clean that out before I start to prep my lid. So what I do is I go in with the concealer and I just cover my lid. I use it as the actual base before I actually put my eyeshadow base. And for an eyeshadow base, I go in with my P. Louise. And I th believe this was number four or five. Um, I always use those two whenever I'm trying to do like a more natural look or I'm going to be using a more natural transition shade. So I'm just going in. I will be going in and using that. And then once I go in with the P. Louise, I'm going to go in on top of that with my... Um, setting powder to set the lid before I start up to apply the actual foundation I mean I said foundation lord the actual eyeshadow and for this look I was going with a very lavender it's called lilac first of all I said lavender but it's called lilac and for some reason we thought I was wearing pink but it's really not it was lilac so I went in with this palette by Juvia's Place and I went in with this purple and I'm just applying it and because this is a very fair color i had to go on top of this color multiple times um and then i went in to blend it back out with the warrior um two palette with one of the browns just to soften that at the top of the lid when it was going towards the arch of my brow but i'm just really going in with that purple and i'm just going to blot it onto my lid so that the color can pop more before i start to like try to blend it out or make it spread so that's what I'm pretty much doing in these next couple of steps and for this look I did not record my face on camera so we're just going to be focusing on the eyes here and then I'm going to go off camera and get dressed and then y'all know I just got busy and forgot but I'm going to include some pictures that I did take of that night so you can see how my makeup turned out <laughs> 